organization. I want to dissect a couple of things in the report, if we could, Sue. The first allegation that we're aware of, uh, of Jerry Sandusky behaving inappropriately mm -hmm. towards a, a, a minor took place in 1998. A mom reported that her son had showered with Jerry Sandusky on campus. The administration was notified, and according to the free report, your husband was told about it, according to the free report. Did he ever talk to you about this incident? No, never. And I don't even know for sure if he knew. I do not know if he were told. The reason, Wick, I think that the free report says Joe Paterno knew of this incident is because there was an email sent by the athletic director, uh, Tim Curley, to the university president and vice president with the subject heading, Joe Paterno, and it read as follows. I have touched base with the coach. Keep us posted. Thanks. Doesn't that mean that Joe Paterno was informed of this incident? We don't know what Joe Paterno learned about this incident. We were not able to speak with the coach about this email because it did not emerge until after his death. I can tell you that he did not remember the 98 incident in 2011, some 13 years later. But to the extent he knew anything about the 98 incident, he would have known that it was fully investigated, that there were DAs involved, that there were police involved, and at the end of the investigation, there was a finding of no misconduct on the part of Mr. Sandusky. I guess what is important, you know, it, this is a very complicated story, but what is important, I guess, about this 1998 incident and whether or not your husband knew was that when another incident surfaced in, in 2001, when an assistant coach told Joe that he had seen Jerry Sandusky engaging in inappropriate behavior with another boy in a shower, that he would have seen a pattern emerging and would have acted swiftly and firmly in response to that. The 2001 incident, we know that Joe Paterno reported immediately to Mr. Curley, and he knew that it went to Mr. Schultz and then also to President Spanier. And Joe Paterno did what he thought was right with the information at the time. I guess the big question people have is, why didn't he do more? Why didn't he follow up? Why wasn't he more aggressive? And why didn't he confront Jerry Sandusky about it? Why don't you think Joe did more to protect these young men? Well, in essence, you're asking a question that, you know, that goes to 2011, which gave us new information. I mean, to us, that was Jerry being Jerry, being with young children. That, we didn't have that mindset that he was doing anything more than teaching them, working out with them, and getting a shower. He worked out with them in the weight room. That had nothing to do with suspecting he's a pedophile. The people who saw Jerry every day had no clue. But Joe wouldn't confront him. He didn't work for Joe anymore.